Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and welcome to episode 72 of Darwell20 is out of Wither Skeleton Skulls. Ah, well, not skulls, but Wither Skeletons for sure. Uh, last episode we set up this cool little gadget tree. What? I thought you were still running. Maybe uh, I turned you off when I wasn't looking. I might have done that. Yeah. Yeah. We're not out of Wither Skeletons just yet. I... I'm, like, weird about leaving it turned on, but I guess it shouldn't matter, right? Like, eventually it stops spawning them until until it kills one and then a new one spawns, right? Or at least a new couple spawn. Um, but, yeah, we've got Wither Skeleton Skulls for days. All right, maybe not for days just yet, but, like, the, the concept's there. As a matter of fact... As a matter of fact... Do me a favor. Goodbye, everybody. Um, do the thing. Vacuum it up. See how it doesn't pick the items up until they're done moving? That's that's the reason we don't put the uh, the the plates on the thing. Uh, I want to go check on uh, my 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 cleaver because he may have leveled up. And if he leveled up, durability, XP, level, adept, modifiers. Three, you say. Hmm. Speaking of another of Weather's goals for days. <laughs> oh, this could be fun. Uh, let's see what happens, right? So in theory, we've got a few more upgrades available uh, to this bad boy, right? So uh, not you, you. Boop, 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 right? So now he's got beheading five. He's got beheading six. He's got beheading seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to get fun really fast. Um, so just, just to be clear, I'm pretty sure, as silly as it sounds, uh, mobs can drop more than one head. <laughs> if, if the beheading upgrade is good enough. Um, because that's a thing that's not checked for, I believe, unless anything's changed, right? So, like, right now we've got... 264 plus 6 skulls, right? And we're going to kill about 6 wither skeletons, right? So with 6 wither skeletons, we should be 264 plus 12 now, yes? Well, still, we'll see. Maybe more... Or beheading upgrades. I still think it's possible for them to drop more than two, but maybe it's still not like 100% chance. I don't know what, what percent chance beheading does, but one way or another, beheading seven is going to be better than beheading four, right? It'll just be more Wither Skeleton Skulls. So today's task, um, I'm going to get back into a mod that I haven't played with in like 40 episodes. Hintity hint hint. Right over there. Uh, Astral Sorcery. Because that's how I decided I wanted to do the old kill the Wither. That's the task for today. Um, so let's dig into the recesses of our mind and look up the Astral Sorcery Tome of Knowledge, right? Boom. Um, there's, there's, we, we got through four chapters of it, right? And I think we left off at Constellation. Is that the one that had the Starlight Infuser? Yes. And this is the one that allows us to make the Illumination Wand. While trying to reach for the stars further out to empower attunement perks, it has become evident that this internal power can also be used to illuminate the world, channeling a bit of that luminescent charge into sufficiently solid blocks or the air can reinforce them to withstand almost any amount of damage or simply coalesce a light source. Ooh. So let's check out the Illumination Wand. For those of you who didn't see my uh, Let's Play series, this may be new to you. For those of you who did, it'll look a little familiar, but still it's going to be cool because uh, it's better than a Draconic Grinder because that's pretty much how we always do it, right? So I'm going to grab a couple rock crystals. Uh, illumination Wand also needs a Resonating Gen and some Stardust. Uh, can I just, you know, crusher you into some Stardust? Like, how do we Stardust you, right? Like, what machines? An Enrichment Chamber can do that. And a Crusher gives me one, and an Enrichment Chamber gives me two. Good to know. Okay. Out of curiosity, just because I'm wondering, can we do the whole shenanigans thing? <laughs> yeah, well, <ma> <laughs> yes. Yeah, the answer is yes. The shenanigans thing exists, a.k.a. or quadrupling. That's a thing that we can do. Well, would you look at that? My oh my.
And I'm okay uh, with the rest of you. Are, are you gonna, not going to basic smelting factory? Oh, that's interesting. All right, well, that's good to know. So it can or quadruple, but it can only get to the stardust phase. Um, and then you can induction smelter your way. There's also molten astral star metal, so that's a thing. Um, you can also get me the night vision. Okay, that's neat. That's a neat choice there. Uh, I guess you can't straight up smelt into star metal ingots unless you go into a thermal induction chamber doohickey. Um, neat. And then obviously there's lots of other uses, right? But today we learned an important lesson, and that is that, yes, we can or quadruple it, but it only gets up to the dust phase. It doesn't get up to the um, metal phase, which is fine, right? So illumination wand. Uh, that, so I need two of them and I need a resonating gem. Which we might have over there. Do we have any aquamarines? Wow, really? None? Okay, that's cool. Today I learned. Um, if I did have something, it would be over here. Perfect. Perfect. Um, I don't know why I didn't bring my star metal dust over. I'm kind of a derp like that, but we can make our illumination wand. So I need two ruined marble and an illumination powder. Two ruined marble. Perfect. Oh, and we also need the astral wand, which may or may not be in my dire bag. Um, good, resonating wand is there. Perfect. Okay, so illumination should be good to go. And because we did all that awesome work um, many episodes back, we have a full bar of starlight, even in the middle of the day. Like, it's literally midday, and we have plenty of starlight to, in to empower our machines and whatnot. Cool. So is this the first Astral Wand I'm making in this series? I feel like it might be. I think it's possible that it might be the very first one. I'm not 100% sure, but it's definitely possible. Hey, good, it's done. All right, so what this does, okay, is we can place pretty much any block in the world, like stone. And is it shift right click? Makes it nigh unbreakable. Now, there's supposed to be like a fancy little render going on here. And that's going to be very tricky if the render is not working. Um, and notice your experience bar, by the way, right? Um, suddenly we have um, a little bit of magical power. Um, every time we use a wand from Astral, it uses some of that power, but it's recharged very quickly, courtesy of Starlight. So that's that. So the grass looks a little different. Which is nice. Uh, how about Flint? Do you look any different? No. So basically these blocks are unbreakable, including to wither explosions, supposedly. Um, supposedly. Uh, I don't know that I've tested it lately, but last time we did this it worked, so I think we'll just do it and hope it works. But I'm going to do it sufficiently far away from my base, so that if it doesn't work, um, it's not going to be a giant disaster. Fair? Okay. Um... So about step one, we test the wither trap, and we kill the wither using one of our cool weapons uh, and, and get our first nether star by fighting him inside a trapped room. Um, so what should we build a wither cage out of? Um, I'm thinking mana glass. I'm thinking mana glass. I think, I'm thinking we're going to need more than two stacks of mana glass. That's what I'm thinking. Four stacks should be sufficient. The only problem is, is making sure that we actually, you know, do the thing to all of them. Do the illumination wand bit. Huzzah! Okay, gadget? Gadget. Check. Good. Let's go figure out where we're going to build this thing at. So I'd like to build it, like I said, sufficiently far away from my base, such that it's not going to be a problem for me. Um, in case this whole trap the wither and the illumination wand thing doesn't work, which like, I mean, it should work. I just haven't explicitly tested it in this mod pack. Okay. That's all it is. I just haven't explicitly tested it in this mod pack. So we're going to hope that it works. I'm thinking over here might be far enough away from my base, right? 
And yeah, yeah, I know, this isn't an axe. You know what? It's good enough. It gets the job done. Uh, there's infinite durability. And it, and, it, and it properly clears stuff out for me. So I don't care that I'm using the wrong tool. Okay. Do I have a Horn of the Wild? Because I love the old Horn of the Wild. Like, I feel like I should have one of those. I just need some living wood and pasture siege, which is some of this. Boop, 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 boop. Whee! Some of you? Oh, you've got the doohickey thing on you, don't you? Uh, more grass, please. Not glass, grass! Moment. Better. And I'm gonna go ahead and put you back, and you can have that guy. Living wood might be in here. Was it five or was it four? I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. Horn of the Wild, please. Yeah, it was five. Good me. Whoosh. Man, I kind of look forward to having an angel ring. Just saying. How can you not love the Horn of the Wild? That's like literally one of my favorite uh, items from mods. Like, everybody always asks me what my favorite mod is. And I usually say I don't have a good answer. Because I legitimately don't, right? Like, I... A, I'm friends with a lot of mod developers, so I don't like playing favorites. And B, I legitimately don't have a favorite mod, right? Like, I'll, I'll be playing with a mod, right? Like, when I did um, when I did Astral Sorcery at the beginning of the series, it's, like, the first time I had done it in a while. And I'm like, man, this is awesome. So, like, in that five minutes, right, Astral Sorcery was my favorite mod. Because it had been a while since I played with it. There had been a lot of cool updates and additions, right? And I'm like, this mod is cool. But rarely do I have, like, a straight-up, this is my all-time favorite mod, right? It's just whatever my flavor of the month is. Um, and also, like I said, don't like playing favorites, so there's that. Um, so all that said, don't really have a favorite mod. But I, I do have some favorite items, and I think you guys know that based on the fact that you see me reuse items every now and then. And, and, and there's sometimes items that I just... Dyer's always got that, right? Dyer's always got that item on him, right? Um, you know... And, and sometimes it's just by appearance. Like, I always have a wireless crafting terminal on me when I can, right? So that's, you know, an obvious one. But Horn of the Wild, totally just such a nice, easy way to clear out all the tall grass. Because when I first started playing Minecraft, there was no tall grass. That didn't exist. Um, and not for nothing, uh, I kind of like the whole, like, flat grass look as opposed to, like, the tall... Like, the tall grass looks messy to me. So cleaning that up very easily is, uh, is kind of nice, right? So let's get uh, some mana glass going. So you're going to be mana glass. And the dire bag is going to get out an exchanging gadget for me that will also be set to mana glass. Uh, and let's turn off fuzzy mode, or turn on fuzzy mode, right? And then what that should do. Is. That should be cool. I don't know that we need fuzzy mode, to be fair. Uh, so let's get like. Does a seven by seven area seem fair? I, th I think that looks good to me. Um, and then we're gonna boop, 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 boop. And if I, okay, so that doesn't work with mana glass then. Is that is that what you're telling me? Illumination wand, womp womp. So maybe mana glass is not the way to go. Let's try another type of glass. Uh, now that we learned that there's types of blocks that it doesn't work with, let me find a good block that it will work with. Like does thickened glass work? So that seems uh, to work. Why doesn't mana glass work? That's an oddity, right? I don't think mana glass is a tile entity. I wouldn't think it would be, right? So, yeah, but thickened glass, that'll do. All right, so I need more thickened glass, uh, please. Back in a few. All right, we're back. So I started, um, you know, doing the, the hardening of things, right? And here's a good thing about using this glass. Um, it only connected textures with the same glass, right? So here's thickened glass that's been hardened, and here's thickened glass that hasn't. And once I harden it with the wand, it connected textures. So now all this glass that's here uh, is is good. And that's, that's a good thing. Cool. So we're going to set you up um, to, be, to be good to go here. So here's how our wither is going to look once everything's built. 
Yes. Um, let's vertical column this invalid block. Oh yeah, probably because you're you're linked. Vertical column. Did I already make you? Probably not. You're you're probably the other guy. So let's do that, and then I can link you because I'm I'm guessing it turns it into a tile entity, and that's why it's invalid afterwards. Or or maybe there's a uh, nothing that actually places that block because it's the you know magic. So vertical column. There we go. So let's do like a height of five. Would that be tall enough? I think I want to do a height of. If we did a height of five, right, and then we. I think that's tall enough, or maybe we want to do six. Let's just do six, just to be safe. And I'm gonna skip this line. Cool. Um, and then we want to get the, the ceiling on there, obviously, but let's go through and wand all this. And I want to note, right, your wand recharges faster at night. So see, like, how as I'm, like, spamming these clicks, right, like, it's working versus uh, it's taking a while, right? So we have to wait for the charge before we can click it again, right? So I can get about one, two, three, about three-ish, and I have to wait a little bit before we have to go. So if we hop home real quick and do this thing and do this thing and then fly back out to our weather spawner. Uh, we should be able to click a little bit more frequently because the wands, uh, well, not the wand, but your player's power recharges faster at night, right? So see how much faster it's charging? You can probably tell if you're looking down there at the thing. So let me get everything converted here to the I can't be destroyed blocks, and then we'll be right back. All right, if I if I didn't miss any, then we should be cool. So now I just need to horizontal wall this guy. Uh, a range five should be sufficient. Actually, let's make it range six. That's better. Cool. And then we just need to, you know, illuminate all these blocks. I, I do like how the connected textures thing seems to work out pretty well because uh it 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 is not easy otherwise to tell what i have protected from destruction and what i haven't all right and then uh we've got a few more to do so this is going to be my doorway into the area uh, i did try using ethereal glass and you can't uh illumination wand ethereal glass so no luck there all right so that should be cool I think that should be a pretty good doohickey. Now, do I right click to place a, yeah, that's, that's, that's good times. Boom, that's neat. And then you place a block over it to remove it. Nice, all right, so uh, next up, let's get uh, some armor, because that sounds like a good time. So I think we were using flux armor, right? That's what we had before we got this whole fancy, wow, I have a lot of flux elements. <laughs> um, I don't think you guys have any enchants on you. I feel like enchants might not be the end of the world as an idea. Uh, speaking of, I know we've got the tome. This guy's full, right? Pretty full. I don't know why I have such little experience though. Oh right, I died a bunch of times a few episodes back. That's That makes sense. I guess we'll just keep a few tomes handy for now, and then eventually we'll come up with a plan. Uh, so that should be good. So let's see. Am I ready to fight a weather? I don't see why not. Uh, maybe grab a bucket of milk or two. Do we even have cows nearby? I don't even know. Can I grab a bucket? Oh, right, we have milk here. That's right, I forgot. Boop, 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 boop. That's right, I knew we had milk nearby. All right, so the wither should, <laughs> should, this is a test of your wither entrapment system. Uh, be trapped in that building, right? So what we're going to want is some skulls uh, and some soul sand. So let's, speaking of skulls, and clearly we have absolutely no soul sand, so that's a failing on my part. Uh, why do you have no soul sand at all, Direwolf? That is a super good question that I don't really have an answer to. I should have soul sand, and I clearly don't, because I'm a derp. Um, but we'll get some, because that shouldn't be a hard task, especially when we have... Oh, you know what? I do have soul sand. It's in here. Ha ha! Ha ha ha!
I thought it was near impossible that I didn't have soul sand. Okay. And home we go again. Oosh. Okay. So with you taken care of, we've got our soul sand. Uh, and now we just need our weather skeleton skulls, which has me a little bit curious how you guys are doing. So uh, the lever, we will switch to off, because I'm assuming that you are empty again, right? So let's turn this one on. That'll start running the, the kill things. The mob crusher, he should be allowed to work now. Yeah, he should be. So then if I turn the lights off. And I'll let you run again so that we get, you know, stuff. Cool. Alright, that works for me. Alright, so uh, how many Wither Skeleton Skulls did we get? We need that, three stacks. I expected a little bit more than that, if I'm being 100% honest with you guys. I expected just a little bit more. I mean, I could put, you know, Fortune on this thing. That probably wouldn't hurt. So you're still at Adept level. I don't think you gained another upgrade. So maybe the next one I'll put on will be looting. I don't, I don't know. That should work. Um... So we should be good with Wither Skulls and Skulls now. So we'll put a few of them away, and let's get ready to fight a Wither. Okie dokie. Uh, I think it's Wither fight time. Now, as a reminder, uh, step one, I'm going to kill the Wither legit. Step two will be kill the Wither automatically lots and lots of times over and over again. But this is mostly, let's just test to make sure the Wither, you know, spawns. Do we have the Wither Muffler? Really? No Wither Muffler? Fail fail um a little bit of explosion damage but not too bad uh to be fair we do have the super sound muffler though that's right we do have that thing. i wonder if we could get one of those because that's not working at all in my basement right like he's not doing a good job down here because ic2 has its own sound system right so if we brought this over here right Mr. Wither is nice and trapped. I'm going to put him on here. So we're going to add recent Wither Shoot. And we're going to add recent Wither Ambient. And we're going to add recent Generic Explode. Ah, and now we can add recent Wither Hurt. I'm going to leave Wither Hurt there for now. So now in theory, the only sound... I love this block. I love, love, love this block. Super sound muffler. Literally needs to be in every pack ever made. That is the best. You get to specify exactly... Because my biggest annoyance with sound mufflers, right, is like when you have a sound muffler, it bugs me to no end when you don't hear the block breaking sound, right? So like it, it just it just irks me that I don't hear those sounds when you have just a generic muffle all the sounds, but that is beautiful. Bada bang. What's up, Supremium Essence? What's up, Nether Star? What's up, all the things? Booyah. All right. So confirmed that the cage works, right? No getting out. No wither explodies. No no managing to get out. I think the only thing we might need to do is have a few more pieces of thickened glass right here. Uh, but outside of that, functional wither capture. Cool. Stage two, build wither. Shouldn't be too bad because we've got a wither builder. Dun, 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 dun. Usually this requires another star. Um... And a Tesla machine lib thing. So let's get that crafted up. Bada bing, be right back. All right, so the Wither Builder, super cool, right? Super cool. Let's get some conduits. Um, I feel like my milk needs are uh, far, far less uh, than was what was previously planned, right? Um, let's get a crate. Um, and what kind of hoppers we got in this here pack? Uh, ba -ba -da -ba. We got the vacuum hopper. I don't know if that's the one I want, though. Uh, we've got the Ender Hopper, uh, which is also, those are pretty cool, but the Pearled one is better, and I don't think we have access to Pearls yet because we haven't been to the end. Should I just do a ranged collector? I feel like 
that's the route to go, right? Shouldn't be too bad to auto-craft one of those bad boys, right? We just need the hardened casing, and we need some void crystals, which should already be done. So that should be easy. Peasy. So hardened casing, let's go. I've got some ranged collecting to do. Okay. That, that, and let's get a regular old vanilla chest. Okay. Quest complete, Weather Builder! Huzzah! I like it to be daytime when I record, please. Thank you. And away we go. So we're going to use the Wither Builder to build withers. It's a magical device that makes building withers inside encased rooms like this so easy. Um, basically what I want to have is a chest. And in here, one of the benefits of, of making this thing so transparent. Is that cool? Nope, one more. See, see, this is why we do the things. Okay, uh, so if we show working area, I think you'll show where you're gonna build the wither. Yes, so the wither will be built right there. Cool. Um, and it's a, it's, it's such a cheaty machine, but it works so lovely. It's hard to, it's hard to pass it up. Basically, uh, oh, he needs power. Uh, no, that shouldn't be a problem because I don't think he needs more than ADR for tick, right? So let's get a wireless doohickey. Cool. One of these guys should be more than sufficient to power this thing because this is the only power we're going to have to worry about over here. Uh, and ADR for tick is, is, is probably sufficient. Stored energy. Max 500 R for tick. All right, so I totally lied. It's totally more than 80. Um... I think it's only max 500 if you're, like, constantly running it, which I don't think we're at the point to do now, but let's future-proof this and, and be ready for when we do need to uh, run it forever, right? So this is the only powered-based thing we're going to have here. And we'll probably want an ender chest, to be fair, uh, for all the drop collecting, but we'll take care of that in a minute. So you go here, everybody's out, link the card, bada-bing, bada-boom. Easy peasy, right? Uh, and then the next thing we're going to want to do, you know what, I'm going to move you be right there cool so you got the juice everybody out because i want now i need more conduits because i forgot i needed energy over here for this uh but this way we can keep things looking kind of nice underneath and around this block right so like just a, a nice little wither killer in the middle of nowhere right because then i can do that and then we can also do this uh and your up will be outputting on red for danger mode right uh active on redstone signal boop 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 and what we'll probably do can i sneak a little on that guy right and you're gonna actually input on red and uh yet again forgetting stuff yeah, no, I don't. Really need that infinity range guard. Eventually. We will get there eventually. Okay. Um, so with the lever going, cool. And then the only other thing we need to worry about is getting items in there. So on the up will be insert on green. And on the up will be extract on green, always active. Right? Uh, so, do, 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 do. Right, so if I put these guys in here, they should extract. Oh, hello, stop. Oh, wait, the lever's on, that's why. Ha, <laughs> I turned the lever on. So, I wasn't expecting them to spawn, but my bad. Luckily, the lever worked, though. Otherwise, we'd be in for a little bit of trouble. It only spawned two of them. So, the lever's working. That's a good thing. The lever's working, right? Um, so that's nice. We got that going for us, right? So, spawning of withers, check. We will add the wither damaging sounds to the muffler in a bit. Huzzah! Why do I only have a couple of other stars here? 
Shouldn't I have another Nether Star? Shouldn't I have three at this point? I would think so. Okay. So you should ranged collector all that stuff and you should be fine, right? Uh, I'm gonna make it an empty blacklist. So yes, you may now collect all the things, right? So flip lever, spawn wither. Perfect? I mean, definitely not terrible. Nice. A little bit of food. And now, Mr. Weather, how are you? Nice. What's up? And there's another another star. Beautiful. All right. Uh, so that's, I'm going to call that a, a completed build, right? Like, that is cool, right? I got no objections there. Uh, let's get an ender chest, if I may, just to prepare for that. I need another blaze rod. Like, nobody's business. Blaze rods are going to be a struggle for me. Cool. Okay, so that all stuff can go away. We'll, we'll, we'll set up an ender chest probably next episode. So let's wrap up here, right? So trapping nether, check. Uh, spawning nether, check. Killing nether by hand, not a problem, but... Who likes doing things by hand? Not this guy. This guy is all the automation time. So we're going to come back next episode and automatically kill the Wither uh, in a fun and interesting way. Um, you know, the Draconic Evolution Mob Grinder, super cheaty, it feels like, because it's just like Insta Shots a thing for like free, basically. Um, so we'll do a fun way, which is going to be actual sorceries, um, you know, uh, 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 stuff. So we're going to do a ritual from Astral Sorcery that will damage all entities in an area, specifically the Wither. And we're gonna try and we're gonna see how much we can boost it and how quickly we can kill a wither with it. Because I think it'll be fun. We'll see what it is though. For now, Dollar 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy. Oh, by the way, I'm going to the nether between episodes.